Hey everybody, Leo D here with another vlog and in this vlog I've invited Alex over. What up everybody? And today we're going to talk about the question, should DJs use a laptop or not use a laptop when they DJ? So for today's discussion, I'm going to take the side of not using a laptop. Figures. <laughs> and Alex will use a laptop. He'll take he'll defend all the laptop users out yeah, there. Yeah, buddy. Now, a couple parameters on the discussion. If you use a controller, then you've already made the decision that you're going to use a laptop. So, you know what? Enjoy the video, enjoy the conversation, but you're going to use a laptop. Second, this is taking into mind that you're using some type of gear that can either work on it by itself as a standalone or, or also connect a laptop. For today's example, we're using Dream Team Setup. This set of CDJ 2000s and the Nexus DJM. Al brought his MacBook running Serato and I have my Rekordbox exported uh, media also plugged into the uh, setup. Another one of the parameters of this video is that you're walking into a venue that you've been to before. All right, let's let's take out the idea that this is you're walking in and you don't know what you're walking into. All right, so definitely the first pro for using a laptop is ability to have a bigger library. You can either purchase a computer with a big uh, internal hard drive or you can do how I do and just buy a four terabyte external hard drive and load that up with all the music you would possibly need. So for the DJs not using a laptop, this is always the big point of asking yourself, how much music do you need to bring with you to an event? Okay, um, I'm able to put all of my music collection onto one of these. This is a USB drive that is 256 gigabytes big. That holds my collection, which is right now a little bit more than 16,000 songs. Alex, how long would it take you to set up your laptop with this gear? With the gear, considering I'm plugging in uh, the CDJs directly into the computer through HID mode, I'd say maybe five, 10 minute stops. For the DJ walking in without a laptop who has all his music on a USB, as long as it's all very well prepared and ready to go, it's just a matter of plugging it in, hitting the USB button, everything's ready to go. One point for him. <laughs> it's one of the things that always comes up is, well, what do you do when you get a request for a song and you want to make sure you have it, you don't have it? What In, in that scenario, what do you do? Normally just hit Control F, type in the artist's name, name of the song, and see what we got up in there. If it doesn't have it, then you know you have a couple different options. You can either go to your phone, obviously, and stream it from there, or you can uh, go ahead and download it very quickly if you have Wi-Fi. Um, what about you, Leo? For me, not using a laptop, I still bring my laptop with me. I just don't set it up, okay? I have it down in my bag down below by my feet or something like that. But if I have a song, again, I press the, the search button and I, I look for the song. If I don't have it, I still have the same options that the DJ with the laptop does. I can download it if I have Wi-Fi and then just download it to another USB and play it off of there. So Alex, you just mentioned pressing Control F and doing a search. So let's compare searching for a song and on a laptop and searching for a song without any type of laptop connected, right? So Alex, in this scenario, you're playing. I'm playing from my hip hop folder right now. So let's say I get a random request and they want to hear, uh, let's say Justin Bieber, baby. So I'm just going to hit control F automatically. That's going to take me to the top and I just stop typing in. So let's go baby Justin and boom, right there, ready to go. That was a total of five keystrokes. Yeah, sure. Right. That's what you want to call it. Okay. Okay, I would press the shortcut button, hit search, type in Justin, and then I know that it's Justin Bieber and Ludacris in my playlist, if I could spell it right. There it is. Come down here, and there is Baby Baby. That blue pop-up came up because the CDJ was connected to the laptop. You normally wouldn't get that. All right, so one of the cool advantages that you always have with a laptop or you don't have with um, CDJs is that you can play your drops. You have your sample drops, your effects, and stuff like that. Kind of like... DJ Big Al. Oof. 
Alex, I will give you that. Um, the only way to work around having uh, the ability to play drops on the fly is to either have a separate uh, device that has those drops already loaded, maybe another CDJ, but again, that's not very cost effective. Unless for some reason you're in a club and they have an extra CDJ there, you can have those drops, you can have all those special edits and samples already loaded there. <laughs> but yes, points for the laptop because you have that at a fingertips. I will say one thing about the laptop. I'm in my late 40s. Alex, you're... I'm early. Up, up. I'm getting to the 40s. Not there yet. Right. Though. Every once in a while, I have problems with my vision. And definitely, a large laptop gives you a lot more real estate to show whatever you need to see. Right? You mean a 15-inch screen as opposed to a 7-inch screen? Exactly. Clearly, you have a lot more available on the screen than you do on a 7-inch screen. But that's not to say that all those features are not available. They are, you just have to know where they are. As opposed to, you know, perfect example, you know, I have a bigger size keyboard to be able to search for stuff, and you have a bit of a smaller keyboard on the CDJ, you might be able to do this as opposed to doing this individually, kind of like a typewriter. So now, let's take you to a different type of scenario. Obviously, me and Leo live out here in South Florida. Um, we do have very, very hot weather. We have a lot of pools and a lot of beaches and a lot of people love doing pool parties. So in the situation of a pool party, I, me personally, I would feel more comfortable playing on CDJs with a USB over a laptop. For what reason? Number one, it's hot as heck out here in South Florida. Computers and heat don't do very well at all. The second that the computer starts heating up over, you know, 100 degrees or anything like that, it's going to start giving you a lot of glitches and stuff like that. Now, one really cool thing um, that a lot of guys do is they just put an umbrella if they're, you know, at a beach club or anything like that. They'll just put an umbrella over them to provide some shade for the computer and it'll let them get through the gig. One really cool thing that you can do on the computer and Serato, check this out right quick. So when you get a lot of glare and it becomes very difficult to see your library, you can hit this little something button right here and it'll do that so that's a much easier way for you to be able to read your library out in the sun when the sun's hitting the laptop screen and you're getting a lot of glare and stuff like that that'll help you out quite a bit that comes to another point that always worries me whenever I use a laptop and I know it worries Alex whenever he uses a laptop what happens if the laptop crashes <laughs> okay now a USB can get messed up you could lose it I walk around with one of these little envelopes and in the envelopes I have more than one copy of my USB or my SD cards uh, just as a backup and I have one at home just in case I lose this whole entire envelope. But if a laptop crashes... There's, there's no getting around that. I mean at the end of the day I carry around a USB as well just because you never know. A well prepared DJ is always going to be better than somebody that only has one option. So God forbid if my computer were to crash, yeah the music's going to come off. but. I can have a flash drive available for me where I can just plug it in and finish off the gig. So somewhat another more inconvenient part about having a laptop sometimes is you always got to make sure you have everything. So before I leave my crib, always check my backpack and make sure I have everything. Laptop, you got to have your hard drive if you're using an external hard drive. Most importantly than that, you got to have your laptop charger. I've forgotten that thing at least two or three times, which is why I have about three or four of them to be honest with you they're not cheap but you're better off having at least two inside your backpack in case you take one out to charge your computer while you're downloading music and you have a spare one inside your book bag just in case you forget it now let's talk about features in the software and make sure and compare those features to what's available to you on the cdj alex what are some of the steps that you take to set up your playlist and what are the features that you take advantage of all right, so over here in Serato, you have a lot of different options which you can add and or take off that it'll show you within your library itself. So right here I have, you know, I can um, set it up by day that it was added, by artist, BPM, mostly using key, the length, but you can add genres, you can add uh, the size, the sample rate, the remixer, how many times you've played the song, location, etc. So when you come over here, you have your full list right here. I normally have everything normally sorted by BPM, 
Um, but if you want to sort it by song itself, you want to sort it by artist, or you can sort it by keys. Now, um, one thing with this is, is that you could only sort it one way. So if I have it sorted right now by keys, I wouldn't be able to do keys and BPM at the same time. So I can, I can only do one or the other. Um, also, obviously up here, you have your full, um, sound effects bank. So on these, you can either just trigger them. Mi gordito favorito. Ladies, you already know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let me show you what my color coding looks like. Let's go down to my reggaeton section. There we go. So right here, you can set stuff up by color coding as well. So all these red ones, these are all bangers, bangers, bangers. And then these are kind of like recurrent. And these are old bangers. So automatically as I'm searching through my library, I know the red stuff is always new. I know the purple stuff is still a banger, but it's an older banger. Okay. And then you have ones that are just not labeled at all. <laughs> If you're going to DJ without a laptop, the best way to take advantage of all the features on the CDJ interface is to use Rekordbox. For example, you have the ability to not only analyze the track and give it the key and the date added, the BPM and your standard features. In Rekordbox, you can apply this rating system. You can also go down into the information and give it some type of color coding, whatever you choose. For example, like Alex has his bangers as red, uh, the everyday players as yellow, and then the older ones as purple. You can do something like that, or you can do your own system. You also, within the record box software, can create these, this feature here called the My Tag feature. You can create your own genres, you can create your own components, you can create your own situations, and then you even have your own section for whatever you want it to be. I, for example, mark all my instrumentals as instrumental, all the line dances with the line dance section checked, or if they're a Colombian song, because I do a lot of Colombian parties, I might select that feature there. Uh, I'll definitely hit all the different genres. And all this gets exported out onto the USB so that you can use it on the CDJ. So now that when I, with my exported media on the CDJ, I can go to track filters. And here I have the ability to see, um, you know, B BPMs, the ratings. And then I can go to my tags and I can scroll through all the different tags that I've created for genres, the different tags that I created for components and the different create uh, tags that I created for situations. And you can go on from there. And as you select these uh, filters, the songs get filtered out for you in your track list. One of the things that we want to make sure that you get this video is that there's no right or wrong way to do this, whatever you're comfortable with. So if you're more comfortable with a computer and typing stuff in and you prefer the bigger screen layout, a little bit faster for me. And on top of that, I've been using computers for since the inception of Serato, so we're talking over 10 years. So for me, I can't picture myself using anything other than a computer. But, you know, there's no, as, as Leo was mentioning, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Yeah, I started with vinyl, and for me, uh, the computer was nice, it was convenient because I was, I was able to bring everything with me, but not using the computer feels like I'm DJing with vinyl again, and that is actually a really, really good feeling because when you look up, you don't have to worry about looking at a computer screen. You just get to enjoy the crowd and the crowd gets to see you. And if you're into term tableism, I mean, that's something you can do with or without a laptop. Most definitely. And, you know, the crowd can see your hands, see what you're doing. Can't take a USB drive to a turntable party, though. No, you can't. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be for the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Put any comments or questions down below. We love to read the comments, and we'll answer as many questions as we can. I um, want to thank Alex for coming out. My man, thank you so much for having me. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Yep, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. See you. Till next time.